Hello, welcome back to our FCS North Tournament. We are in round two. This is game two. The Bryant Bulldogs traveling to take on the Valparaiso Crusaders. Bryant on offense first. Mitchell rolling right, throwing right, and there is the back. Davis with the catch up to the 47-yard line, breaking a couple tackles. Very powerful runner, and he showed it on that play. Running through a couple defensive backs on the play. And they'll go option this time. Here's Mitchell pitching it out to Davis. Nice block by the receiver. Breaks a tackle. Breaks another one and breaks three tackles on one play. But he did fumble it at the end of the run. Mitchell looking to throw it here. Rolling out right side. He's got Brown open. Inside the 10. Down to the 6. Yard line. Nice tight rope act on this sideline. Getting about 15 extra yards there. Maybe more. Davis in the backfield, they'll give it off to him, and he will get it in the end zone for a Bryant Bulldog touchdown. And they are now on top 7-0 here in the first quarter, just under a minute played in the game. Valpo on offense, here is Higgins, crushed and throws a pick to Long, and he's going to walk into the end zone for an easy pick six. And that will extend the Bryant lead 14-0 after a 27-yard interception return for a touchdown. Mitchell on offense because Valpo sucks today on offense and there is Lester running through the Valpo defense but the Crusaders have not done anything on offense the only completion was to a cornerback for Bryant here's Davis up the middle making a couple guys look silly in the open field 10-5 touchdown Bulldogs he made it look easy running through this JV squad of a defense Bryant on top now, 21 nothing. Let's take a look at the replay here. Juked the man out of his shoes, and there was nobody in the secondary even close to getting even a hand on him. Bryant back on offense after a Valpo three and out. Here is Mitchell going deep, caught by Davis. Out of the backfield for a big reception. Saw the quarterback comparison there. Valparaiso is 0 for 4 in the passing game. And Bryant is just having their way with this Crusader defense. Here's Davis up the middle to the four-yard line. First and goal. He's got 98 yards on seven carries with two touchdowns. My goodness. And they'll give it off to him again here. And he gets over 100 yards and his third rushing touchdown. And he taunts. And that'll cost this team a 15-yard penalty. And because of that, the Bryant Bulldogs miss the extra point. So there's a little bit of wind here today. Mitchell pitches to Davis. He's going to throw it, and he's got McCoy, and he is gone. So not only does Davis have three rushing touchdowns, he now has a passing touchdown. He can do it all. Beautiful spiral. He has more completions than the Crusaders in this entire game. 34-0. Blowout central here as Valparaiso finally gets a big play up to the 45-yard line. That is their first first down of the game halfway through the second quarter Higgins rolling right throwing right open is the running back Porter oh, excuse me that is a slot receiver getting the catch and the first down Crusaders putting together a pretty good drive here a couple good plays they just need to string together a couple more and get in the end zone here is Mayhew wide open inside the 10 down to the four yard line first and goal and they desperately need a touchdown here. They, are, they have less than 100 yards of offense in the game. High formation. Horner gets the carry, fighting into the end zone, but there is a holding call. And that will drop the Crusaders back to their own 13-yard line. And because of that, they would not get the first down, and they'd have to settle for a field goal attempt. And the kick is good. 34-3. Valparaiso will get blown out in their own stadium against the Bryant Bulldogs who have really been one of the most impressive teams in this tournament as Wilcox returns the ensuing kickoff past the 40 past midfield past the other 40 and down to the 34 yard line of Valparaiso but that will end the first half Bryant doesn't do anything with that drive and Valparaiso has a chance to cut the lead down to 24 here as Porter makes a nice catch for the first down up to the 46 yard line but they don't do anything with their drive as well, but they do get a fumble recovery on Bryant's next possession. So they are already in the red zone here. 
They need it desperately, and what a diving catch by Newberry. Really putting it all on the line for his team, laying out for that catch. Great throw as well in between two defenders to split the safeties down the middle. They're going to go for two here. Here is Horner with a nice spin move, and he gets it in there. So the score is now 34 to 11, and we have a 23-point ball game. But Bryant is not done yet. Mitchell going right side, and that is another diving catch in the game, but this time it's from Bryant, and that was Lester, the slot receiver. Davis gets the handoff left side, and he's going to walk into the end zone for another Bryant Bulldog touchdown. That is his fifth touchdown of the day, fourth rushing. He also has one passing. Definitely an MVP kind of performance from him today. 41 to 11 is the score. Valparaiso desperately needing points. Heaving it up deep down to the 40 yard line is Tucker. And he gets it up to the 35 yard line. Higgins has completed three passes in a row. School record. <coughs> Higgins looking to throw it again here. Pressured and dropped. And that is how Bryant's defense has played most of the game. Six hurries, two sacks, one pick. They've been all over Higgins and the running backs. And Bryant back on offense. Davis gets the handoff, pitches it back. And that was Marshall up to the 37-yard line. Trying a little trickeration there. The double option. Mitchell rolling out left side. Defensive tackle slower than dirt. And that is a heave to the end zone caught by McCoy for the easy touchdown. And the safety was just not even close to being there in time. Terrible pursuit angles all over the place for Valpo today. Back on offense, throwing left side is Sykes. And nice broken tackle there up to midfield. Nice run after the catch. And Higgins going deep, and that is intercepted by Dowdell. And he'll get it past midfield, past the 40. Higgins is the only one that's got a shot at getting him. And he slows him down just enough for his receiver to come and get him at the five yard line. And Bryant is just going to get in the end zone here as well. Wide open is Brown on a slant route. Just a simple slant, and the Crusaders can't cover it. Linebacker moved away from the route, actually. 55-11 to 11 here in the fourth quarter. Valparaiso on offense again, trying to have something go their way as Newberry gets a nice catch up to the 35-yard line. That's where most of their passing yards have been today, right in the middle of the field. What an awful throw that was. That was a wobbler. Higgins pump fakes, rolls right side, and he is sacked again for another loss of eight. That is the third sack. It's been hurried nine times, thrown two picks. Third and eight. Higgins rolling left side, goes deep to the middle, caught by Coleman inside the 10-yard line. That is another hurry for the Bryant Bulldogs defense. Nice job by the receiver to come back to his quarterback for that route. First and goal from the seven. Horner gets the handoff, and that's an easy touchdown. And Valparaiso thinking, why has it not been like this all game? 55-17. Valpo is going to go for two points here after this quick replay. Goal line formation, triple option. Higgins pitches out to Horner, and he uses his speed to get it in the end zone for two points. 55-19 is the score. Valpo gets one more possession on offense. And he's got Coleman wide open here. Caught. Nice diving catch to the 45-yard line. Nice throw by the backup quarterback, Scott Lovelady. Play action. Lovelady. Left side picked off by Noble at the 47-yard line, past the 30, past the 20, down to the 16-yard line, and that will do it as the Bryant Bulldogs throttle the Valparaiso Crusaders 55-19. I will see you guys next week with the St. Francis Red Flash taking on the Wagner Seahawks and the Central Connecticut Blue Devils taking on the Fordham Rams. And that will conclude our second round of the North Tournament. And we have four more games in round three. But I will see you guys in the comments section below. I will see you Saturday with Mississippi State Bulldogs action. Take it easy, guys.